Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully, you are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's episode, gotta say huge shout to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Raycon is disrupting the electronics industry by designing premium wireless audio for half the price without compromise. They're doing things differently than any other brand out there from the way they design their products to the way they price them. Raycon prioritizes their customer experience from start to finish. Raycon offers their wireless earbuds in a range of fun colors and patterns with a variety of fit and no dangling wires or stems. Raycon earbuds gives you six hours of playtime seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and more compact design for a comfortable noise isolating fit. These right here are my Raycon earbuds. I absolutely love these things. They're so much more comfortable than every other earbud out on the market. I love wearing them on long plane rides, when I'm out doing chores, whatever it might be. They don't fall out, they're super comfortable, they won't hurt your ears after a long period of time and the battery lasts forever. It's amazing the battery life on these things. I feel like I never have to charge them. Put both of them in, neither one of them are falling out. They're super comfortable, I absolutely love these things. Whether you're taking up a new hobby or you just wanna make your day-to-day -day a little bit more comfortable, Raycons are the perfect way to bring premium audio to everything you do. The company was co-founded by Ray J and celebrities like Mike Tyson, Rich the Kid, and Snoop Dogg are obsessed with these Raycon earbuds. The best part about these Raycon earbuds is there is a 45 day free return policy. So if you guys at home are looking to get some new earbuds and you want a discount, you get 15% off if you click the link down in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash flare to get 15% off your Raycon earbuds. Again, huge thanks to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that partner up with me that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is provide videos for you guys to watch and enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy today's video. Shoo! Welcome back, folks, to another episode. Let's see, Melee, what you guys doing? Go play on the ice. Let me know if it's thick enough. All right, well, she didn't fall through. It's got to be thick enough. So today's episode is going to be the very first catch, clean, cook inside the new cabin. It's a beautiful day out here. It's nice and warm. It shouldn't be too hard to keep this puppy heated up. But before we stock this pond, okay, we're going to try fishing the top pond, which that pond is the one that has, I mean, it's the, the OG backyard pond. And unless you're new here, you know what I'm talking about. The goal is to catch bass from that pond and bring them in here, but that's not today's goal. Today's goal is to catch some bluegills or bass, I guess, whatever. I mean, basically if it's a fish um, and it's big enough to fillet up, we're probably going to eat it. Today's kind of like the test run, okay? We've got a tip up. We got some minnows. We got some wax worms. We're going to run to the top pond and see what we can catch. And uh, we're going to hopefully get enough fish for lunch. It's me, Banjo, Pool, Jet, and Zach. And we're going to try to get some, some lunch going and kind of pre-fish a little bit for a big fish stocking event. So we're going to try to figure out exactly like where the bass are, what where the bluegill are, what, what's, what is everything biting, where they're at, and then we're going to keep some today, like I said, and then fry them up. But the next episode, maybe not the one after this, but eventually, later on this week, hopefully, or next week, we're going to try to catch a bunch of bass, maybe some bluegill crappie, whatever it might be. This is going to be the catch and cook pond, okay? So you guys don't know, this is the new cabin pond, obviously, clearly right next to the cabin, and this is dedicated towards catch and cook. So we're going to try to bring a lot of fish from the top pond, because we stocked it extremely heavily here, all last year. Tons of bluegills, tons of bass, tons of catfish, all that stuff. So we want to stock this pond, but I don't really want to like take a ton of fish from that pond other than bass. I think we need to get a bunch of bass from the top pond and bring them down here. So, but again, that's not today's episode. You can look forward to that. Today's episode is catch, clean, cook in the backyard, in the cabin. And so first thing we got to do is get this sucker warmed up. We got to, Millie, come here, Lucy. If you fall in, I got to be able to go get you. Come here. Hey. <laughs> Look at them running around out there. I mean, I assume they're not gonna, it's really not that deep right there. I assume they're not gonna fall. There's just, the problem is there's a lot of springs and that can, that can sometimes not be good. So hopefully they don't fall through and die. Anyway, so inside the cabin, if you guys are new, we built this cabin. What are you saying, shoe or what? Shoe. That's what I'm saying. So this is the cabin. What do you think, Zach? When's the last time you were in here? Um, when we put, I guess we put that together. Put the stove in here. Do we have the recliners? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you were, on, you were here on furniture duty day. So, but then look above you. You see that? Ooh, fancy. I uh, I had an electrician come out and do it. I didn't do it. Yeah, no. This thing is powered, except we don't have the solar completely finished. We have a generator, um, but we don't want to turn the generator on if we don't need to. We don't really need lights in here though. I mean, right now it looks, it's plenty bright. So we're going to do a catch cook, but I think we got to go off grid style. Something I've never done before, which is use the wood burning stove. You feeling good about that decision? Yeah. You ever fried fish on a wood burning stove, Zach? Have you? No. Someone trying to get in? Come on, doggy. Come on, come on, come on. 
There you go. All right, so we gotta clean this stove out and we're gonna get her heated up, revved up, so that way hopefully you don't see your breath here in the cabin. Try to warm it up and we're gonna try frying the fish. So whatever we catch, whether it's bluegill, crappie, catfish, bass. I, I told him if it's a fish, it's going down the fryer. Oh, 100%. Because it, the thing is like, we're, we're usually against killing bass, you know, and, and eating so them. Many. But there's so many up there that between stocking the bottom pond and eating the bass, we, we need to take out like, didn't the DNR, he told us like, it wasn't DNR, this shocking guy. Shocking wasn't it like 75 to 100 a year? A lot, yeah. Imagine, imagine eating a hundred bass a year. That'd be a lot. Of that'd be, I don't that'd be intense. Eat, I, don't, I don't even eat one bass. I know. I never eat bass. They don't taste it, especially in the winter for ice fishing. Everything tastes pretty good. So banjo's on shovel duty. How's that going? This, like, yeah. Why does it not stay open? It's a terrible design. Probably just so you don't accidentally leave it open. Maybe. Yes, hey. Billy, Billy, Billy. You do, you do want to, you want to eat ashes? No, you don't. So we're gonna get that scooped out, cleaned up, and get a fire roaring, and then head up to the top pond and do some fishing. You guys, stay tuned. We got the fire going, boys. So now we're gonna shut it. It's locked. I'm gonna shut the dampener. Even though you probably should leave it on just a little bit longer, just because the fire's not ripping, but we don't have much wood. We only have three little pieces left. So fire's established, dampener's closed. It should just kind of smolder. It's clearly pretty chill, chilly in here. Is it cold in here, buddy? So let's go ahead and run out. We're gonna go to the top backyard pond and do some dang. What are you what are you hoping to catch, Zach? Probably crappie. Big crappie. See, honestly, catching big crappie would actually probably be like the most beneficial thing to catch. Because we want to take every big crappie out of there and either put it in here or eat it. So big crappie. I, I already know the answer. Blue gale. He's a big blue guy. What are you trying to catch? I like a bass. You've never ice fished before. No, so, so you want to catch a largey? Yeah. I'm kind of a largey guy too. Like bluegill are kind of they're alright. But like big I would say big crappie on the okay. No. Big bluegiller phone. Big bluegiller good time. So basically I said everything's on the menu. Cabin will be getting heated up as we are up there fishing. So see you guys on the pond. Shoo! Alright, made it down to the pond. Banj, give it a test. Why do I always gotta give Come it Come on, you got it. Oh god, red. Really? I like oh, yeah. it. Right, you want you want a spud bar? You wanna start you wanna start tampering around? What is it? What is that? Oh, it's a hawk. I was like, you see a shadow? You can see a shadow rip right there. Chicken like bright eye. I'm blinded by the light. Should ride the old sunnies. Yeah, I can't see right. nothing out here. So I, how are you feeling? I'm I'll say it's pretty solid. It's pretty thick. What do you think, Zach? Zach, you've been ice fishing already this year, so you're you're, you're giving it the green light. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and unload. I'm trying to remember last. Year. Really? What is that strat? I guess it's 2020, Lucy. You do whatever you want. Choose. It's not 2020. It's to oh, it's 2021. Yeah, that joke no, no, red. I'm trying to think where we should fish. I can't remember last year. What do you? That, like in between those two in between the points we we're catching them yeah that's where we always had the vex bar yeah the, the tip ups by the the bush dreams are made of yeah. i think i'll put i'll put the tip by the bush dreams are made of and then we'll probably just scatter out we've got how many rods you bring uh, i have one down here you've got one rod i've got two and then a tip up four lines four four beef cakes ready okay all right chill out so let's go ahead and get everything unloaded i do have a fish finder a real fancy one that i don't really know how to use so i'll try using that and we've got uh, this auger as well as this one, but I think this one will work fine so we can take this one out. It's a lot. This one's kind of, or it's a lot of weight so we can take it out so it's lighter. And then you brought a flasher as well, yes. which is going to be good. So we got two flashers, four lines, ready to give a dangle. And we have minnows and wax worms. Ready? Hey, you got it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> We're there four wheel. Come on. Come on, you got it. I'm, not, I'm doing this for camera. I can't move. There we go. I got these. You guys are dead. What's that? He's got. He's got them. Oh, your you're, your ice stabbers. Yeah. Oh, rip. I'm gonna make screwed, man. You guys are dead. I can't swim. I can. I can throw them to you, dude. These are weird. They like. Oh, so you can't. So you don't stab, stab yourself. Your, well, you could if you did that. <laughs> but so you that. fall through. I say you give us a demonstration. So you fall through. <laughs> That's how they work. Pulls you back up on the ice. Wow. So you guys are dead. It means I will make it. Let's just pop a hole and see what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty thick. If you fall through, you hit a real weak spot. All right, now I'll be shooting out that way. Those floating Those guys, suspended. Those suspended might be fish right there. I know you guys can't really see much, but. All right, well, I don't really tell me much, did it? At least we got this thing working. Once we find the fish, it'll help go fast, so. All right, let's keep moving. Right, what's below us here? Oh, there's fish. Look at, oh my God. Yeah, there's fish Oh here. my God, there's a giant school. All right. Let's, I'm gonna pop another hole so I don't so it doesn't get interfered. We'll drop down. If I start catching them, just pop a hole right yeah. next to me. Dude, there's a ton of fish down there. This we might have found them, boys. All right, here we go, boys. I'm feeling pretty confident about this hole. You're feeling good? Yeah. There's one right. Yeah, look at him right you. there. Look at him. He's coming up to you. Look at him. He's coming. He's on you. Yep. He's biting. Got him. Nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's, oh, uh, rip! Hey. That's so cool, though. Isn't that cool how that works? That's like, wild. We knew it was going to happen. We knew it. Like, you could watch him come yeah. up. Yeah. I wish you could see the screen. I know. I wish you could see it better. So, unfortunately, a big school like that, this is probably what you're dealing with. That's good stocking fish, honestly, to move. But, like I said, today, I don't really want to move bait fish from here. The goal would be just to move bass. There's a big one to the right. You see that one? All right. There you go. Oh, dude, you got some big daddies right there. Where am I? You get okay. drop her down maybe another foot. There's some big daddies right over here. Yep, right there. There you go. Dude, you got a school. Yep. Dude, I'm so mad you guys can't see this. This sucks. There's literally a whole school of them right there. Might have to move. I'm going to say, if you pop Oh, hold... no, you got another one. Drop, just drop it down a little bit. Okay. You got to get a little bit lower to them. And just start start flicking it just a little bit. They'll, they feel it in their lateral line, and they'll come up to it. You got one? Oh, what the hell? They got... <laughs> He's the, he's a sleeper. He's quiet. Oh god, yeah. Oh wow. Dude, that's a big daddy. Yeah. That's lunch. Yeah, is there a bunch or yeah, what? Ten foot. There's a bunch of them. It's five. Foot Zach just there. comes over here in class. I love it. This what a beast. Come here. Oh god, now. you got a ton around you. All right, I'm gonna rig up next to Banjo here. I really should throw on a minnow to try to catch a big crappie or a bass, but we gotta get a couple more gills on the board. We gotta we gotta secure lunch before we start going after the big big ones. Slowly raise up if he's there. Yep, you got him. You got him. Yep, you got oh, him. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Give us some lunch, Banjo. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Big oh, in. Yeah. yeah. Jumbo. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Shoo. We got lunch, baby. That's good. That's that? two. You want this, Lucy? Lucy, that's lunch, my guy. I know you're hungry. No sushi today. We're cooking it. We're going to cook it on the wood burning stove. Oh, hey. This hey, is hey, Lucy's hey. first time ice fishing. I just, man, we could have titled that. Taking my dog ice fishing first time. Rip. Rip. All right, Rip. I'm going to drop down pool jet. This is just, your next fish is yours, my guy. Pool jet's first. Oh, dude, there's two right below you. Oh, there you go. Oh, you can see it. All right, see, there's fish. That's a fish and that's a fish. Pool jet's going to drop down. Now you guys can see. It's got to get a little bit closer. Okay, so that's pool jet. Yep, hold it. Hold it. He's coming up. He's going to get it. All right, where are you at? Are you down there? Look at all these fish, dude. Those are all fish. One, two, three, four. Oh, rip, rip. Zach just got a bacon. Oh, my God. We, Zach, we got to get you a GoPro on. Oh, my God. Dude. That's exactly what we needed out of here. You don't want these guys when you're trying to grow big bass. Out of kid. Dude, that's a biggin. Look at that. Good job, Lucy. Good job, Millie. Oh, Banjo's hooked up. Oh, God, we're doubled. Little bluegill. Shoo! I cannot believe Zach just caught this mega. Look how big, big the mouth is. Yep, that's lunch right there. Hey. Boom. I got Rob. Rip. Let me see him. Oh, he's not that bad. Yeah, we'll release him. We can do him. better. We, we can, can do, do better. better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Lucy, let him go. Yo. Lucy doesn't know what happened. Lucy. All right, pool jet's rigged up again. So, Zach, you've gotten big blue, one blue, keeper bluegill, one keeper crappie. I got one keeper bluegill. Do we keep yours, Banjo? Yeah, we kept mine. Did you keep, did we keep yours? No, I didn't keep mine. No, Take that back. Yours. Okay, so you have two hey, bluegills. Hey. Lucy, Lucy. My hole. <laughs> do we need to drill your own hole, Lucy? Might have to. Lucy, I mean, I could, should I just give him one of the bluegills hey. to run around with? Oh, uh, Zach, Zach, you hooked up? Zach's hooked up! Just a wee guy. Not too bad. Maybe maybe we'll give that to the dogs to play with. Um, oh, Lucy! Look <laughs> Lucy! Lucy! Here, give me this one back. Zach's got one for you. Hey, no, drop it. Drop it. Oh, there you go, Lucy. There you go, Lucy. Oh, my God! Hopefully they, don't, I'm, they might actually eat that thing, but... Oh, God, I already got a bite. I'm on. I'm on. We're doubled, Zach. Oh, that's an eater. That's, yeah, that's a fatty. Yeah, it is. He's not a mega... Oh, oh, oh pool oh. jet! Oh. Your first one! Oh, we got oh, yeah. a triple! Hey. Let's go! Look at that. Hell wow. Yeah. Pool Jet, your first ice I fish did it. ever. You want to mount that one, Pool Look Jet? at that. Look yeah, at the, look at the old triple guy. kill. The old triple threat here. <laughs> Boom. Oh, what is that, a UAV? That's what I'm saying. Am I throwing this guy back? Yeah, yeah, I'll keep mine because he's got he's got a lot of meat on his shoulders, but this is probably like the smallest you would want to keep. These good are good talk. breeding bluegill. Bluegills Thank that you. will, you know, within the next couple years have a lot of babies and feed the bass that are in here. You don't want to kill them all, but... Harvesting some ain't gonna hurt nobody. He said the goal is not to really take that many bluegills from this pond. Obviously, harvesting half a dozen for lunch is no big deal whatsoever. I mean, we stock thousands of bluegills in here. The goal would be to take bass from here and then stock the new pond with the crappie from here and then go buy the bluegills instead of taking them from here. So, all right, pool jet. How many we got now? I don't know. Keepers. I've kept one. You've kept one. one. He's kept at least two. So what, the bluegills that you guys caught are way bigger. That's on the. It's on. That's the, the smallest one. That's the smallest one. Look at Lucy. Look at him. Look at him. He's already hooked Zach, up. Zach, you're a beast. Lucy, what are you doing? Dude, oh my gosh, she's literally gonna swallow that. Okay. Lucy, Lucy, come, come here. here. Come here, Lucy. All right, all right, That's this is enough. No, no, she, yep, she killed it too. Okay, good. Right. Oh! Oh, yeah. That's a big one. That's a keeper. Eight, Dude, that's oh. a big daddy. Are we keep this guy? Yeah, oh yeah. I'd say we should keep like two per person, so eight. Bluegill tastes fire, yeah. especially ice fishing bluegills. We're just cleaning up shop right now. All right, I'm dropping down, boys. Let's see some big ones. There I am. I'm dropping, dropping, dropping. See that fish? 
right on the bottom. There's a whole school to my right. I'm gonna pick that guy up and then I'm gonna lift. He's gonna come right to me. And they're on it, they're on it, and I got him. And I got him. And I got him. Let's go, just a little guy. What is that guy? But you can you see how that worked though. They came right up to it. Dude, there's so many bluegills in here. This is why this is gonna be our trophy bass pond, because look at that. Dude, a four, five pound, three, four, five pound bass. That's a lot of protein, and there's literally thousands of them in here. We're gonna keep sorting through them, try to catch some big ones. I would love to get on some bigger crappie too. So we'll probably try to catch a couple more bluegills, and I'm gonna go set out some tip-ups with some minnows for some bass or crappie and try to go find some bigger fish to, to harvest for lunch. See you later, dude. Oh, wow, did you see him? He went from one hole to another. It is cool to see like the results of all the hard work of stocking, fish management, and everything that we, all the work that we did last summer and spring and fall is now paying off because this was not what the ice fishing was like last year, especially size wise. Like you would catch a lot of, remember we'd catch a ton, but they were like just those little bluegills. Oh, Banjo's hooked up. He's got another right. one. Oh, it must be small. Uh oh. You think it's small? Yeah. Oh, he's just a little guy. Yeah. But the average. Yeah. Like the this average. Was, was, that was like about 20 the, of these. That was about like the average. Two big ones per day. Yeah. So yeah. It, it is nice seeing the results of all the hard work, the money, the time, the energy that we put into this pond. Now it's actually turning into something good. So now that basically I think all we have to do yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, Lucy. No, no, Lucy. No, Lucy. No. I think all we got to do now is remove the bass, like half the bass population. Because I think our, our bait source, you know, being bluegills and stuff, population is plenty strong. So if we can just reduce the si the amount of small bass in here, I think we're gonna have a big bass factory pretty quick. Yep, yep. Yes, yes sir. That's a little guy, I think. Oh, maybe. Oh, yep. Yeah. Lucy, Lucy, no, don't bite it. Dude, this is just, this is crazy. For an average size bluegill, like, like I said, this is good feeder bluegill the, for three to five pound bass. We could sit here and do this all day long. I'm gonna catch one more and then I'm going on bass duty. I'm gonna throw a tip up by the bush dreams are made of and try to catch a large out of here. Lucy, no, no, you can't dig for it. It's gone. No, Lucy, it's gone. Lucy, <laughs> look at her, look at her. She's clearing out the hole for me. There you go, big Jim. Oh, big Jim's on there, son. Oh yeah, oh! Oh, it was almost big enough. Dude, there's just a massive school down there. Lucy, no, Lucy. Lucy, oh, she's so sad. I, I gave you a friend and you killed him, okay? So I don't know what you want me to tell you. All right, Banjo, you can go, you can fish in this hole if you want. Look how many, you see the school down there? Oh goodness. Look at the school, this is crazy. All right, I'm going after a bass. All right, folks, we're at the bush dreams are made of. That's really thick here. So we're gonna throw a tip up. If you guys are new to the channel, I'll show you how these little doohickeys work. Big Papa Felix makes these things. I need to get more. Felix, if you're watching this, I only have one of these things. I think my dad stole them. So this is just a circle hook on this thing. So what I do is I take, some people call them sounders. They're just like little weights. You clip them on, drop her down. There's the bottom. So you pull it till it gets tight. Now it's tight. And I just pinch right at the water line and bring it up. And that's about foot, foot and a half. Take it like this, you loop it, you spread it. Flip it around, looks like one of them things. You have two loops, like that. That's a slip knot. So then you pull this up, just take this guy off, grab yourself a little minner. I hook him right behind the dorsal, hook him right here, so you can swim, drop him back down. And all it is is a swivel. That gives you a little bit of weight. Some people put split shots on it. I don't like it. I like him being able to swim where he wants. So he could swim seven feet that way or this way or straight down. Eventually he'll go, he'll go down. But I usually go six, Six to 12 inches off the bottom is where I like these. So that loop you made, you just hook it right here. Reel up your slack. So when you get a bite, it's gonna pull it. You see your flag up. Easy as can be. Boom, we got a tip up up. So look at them, they're having a great time. You guys having such a good time? All right, don't mess with the tip up. All right, we're gonna leave this tip up up since we only have one. Head back and see if we can catch more fish. I don't know what's First going time fishing on. Or what? I don't know what's going on. Oh, Monster you got it. No, you got a doohickey. There, uh, hang on. You have a fish? Oh, he has a fish right now. There we go. Still don't sound right. Oh, oh that's geez. a that's a keeper. That's a big daddy. Yeah, we'll a little eat, fatty. We'll eat him. Banjo's having technical difficulties. Thanks, there. Dad. Oh, I have a fish. Hang on. <laughs> We're doubled up, baby. Let's go. We got a keeper. Oh, nah, he's close. He's, he's just not. He's not fat enough. The gills are just incredible out here. Lucy, this is a great day. I like this. Big fan of the bluegill. Our tip up. Nope, tip up's still down. We'll go ahead and release this guy. Yours is bigger than this one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We'll keep yours. I think our goal should be 10 bluegills and that crappie. What I think, we got? Uh, no idea. You might want to do a head count. There's also two deceased small ones that I gave to Millie and Lucy as their friend, and they killed them both. So don't count those as our eating because they're going to be too small. Skirt. Oh, Lucy, no, leave it. Lucy, no. Oh, no. She has it. Lucy. Lucy, come here. Lucy. Hey, leave it. Hey, drop it. No. 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 He's our friend. He's our friend. Swim away, buddy. There you go. No, Lucy. Well, I'll let you know if we get any more eaters. I'm coming. Uh, oh! 
Oh, I say we keep him. You wanna eat this guy? Yeah, let's eat. Ooh, chubby, isn't he? Yeah, he's fat. He's fat. That's, that's exactly the stunted size you want out of here. So your option is eat or transport. On the transport day, we want to catch a bunch of them since we just caught one. I say we, we'll see that guy. He'll, he'll make a nice fillet. That's exactly the coal size you want to get out of here. So another one in the bucket. That's what you want. You don't, that size is the, the problem size. Anywhere between, you think that guy's like what, 13 inches maybe? Probably. 14 inches, so really anything between 12 to 14. Anything 15 inches or bigger is a pretty decent size largey, but anything smaller than that, I, I want to get out of here. So we're not transporting them today. We're not ready. We don't have like coolers and we don't have live wells aerators and stuff ready. Um, I do want to do a big bass transport day because this is actually probably the easiest way to catch a bunch of bass if we just get a bunch of tip ups out there. So anyways, going in the bucket for the fryer. I say one more keeper, bluegill, crappier bass, and we'll be ready to go. Oh, there's a whole school of them. Yep. Come on, hit it. Hit it, girl. Yep, hit it, girl. Oh, we got him. Oh, rip. Oh, rip. I swear it was bigger down there. Oh, yeah. Big chunky coming. Big chunky coming. Big ch Oh, rip. He might have got my worm. You son of a gun. They're biting. Oh. Rip. Yep. Got him. Oh, we doubled? I missed. Oh, he feels decent. I was trying to oh it. my god! Oh my goodness! Biggin! Chungus. That's it. That's a game winner. Right there. That's Big Daddy. That's the size we're after, boys. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Big Chungus, boys. Lucy, that's what we're after, buddy. Is it lunchtime? That's lunchtime. That's the old dinner bell. Lunch bell. Whatever you call it. That's what we were after the whole time. There's probably a couple of them in there like that. The rest of them are a little bit smaller, but this guy will work. So, going in the bucket, I'll set down to the cabin and get to cooking. Shee! We got the fire going. You cold or what? My hand's cold. Look at this fan getting it, Banjo. You had doubts. Yeah, you, you Isn't that crazy? That crazy. Look, at the, look at the harvest, my guy. There's some big. We got them all filleted up. So one bass, one mega crappie, and like, what was it, eight bluegill? Like that. Seven something bluegill like that. or something like that. So we're going to wash them up and get them cleaned up. We got the fire ripping. This is nice and warm right here. This, this feels great. So you can't see your breath. Over there, you probably can. That should have stayed. It doesn't, it doesn't quite go... Really, it don't quite make it all the way to that side. That's why we got the other fireplace, but that's for a different, different day, different video. Look at these dogs. You guys excited? So fire's ripping. This thing's nice and hot. So we're gonna try to get these fish cleaned up, battered up, and try to pan fry them on this. I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but you guys stay tuned. All right, oil's heated up. We're gonna start small, just in case if it's not heated up all the way. We didn't bring any egg wash or hot sauce, but Banjo says, just throw it in like that. I said, aye, 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 Captain. So we're gonna go ahead and throw a couple of these fillets. These are pretty much all bluegills. So we're gonna start small. That oil, it's heating up. It's taking its sweet time, but oh yeah, see, it's sticking pretty good. I think we'll be all right. With fish, I think you can get away with not putting like a, I don't know, like an egg wash base or anything like that, but I don't think this would work that great with chicken. So we're gonna give it a toss. This is some spicy mix of concoction stuff in here. Let's see if it fries up. Going in hot. And it's not too bad. It's not quite the sizzle you want. It'll work. Yeah. Just might not get that like super crisp crisp. Yeah. But it's not bad. We're gonna, we'll, we'll try a few pieces and see how they turn out before we go off with the rest. If we really need to put it on, I mean, it's not bad. If we really need to get it on the other cooktop, we can. But I mean, it's been going, this fire's been going now for probably two hours. So it's like, it's pretty much as hot as it's gonna get. Not sure if you're meant, you're supposed to really fry on a stove like this, but we're gonna, we're gonna see if it works. We're gonna lay the rest of these in here. All right, see how they turn out. We got the oil heated up now, boys. Oh yeah, golden and crispy. What we did is we opened the, the flue, the dampener thing. So now there's just an absolute roaring fire. Yeah. Those are some nice golden crispies. Now they're lightly battered, obviously, because we don't have the wash, but we're gonna go ahead and get the rest up, throw it on there, and give it a taste. All right, mix it all up, skitter her in. Ew, that's what you want there. Big old crappie, courtesy of Zach, catching that big one. Ew, oh God, rip. We're about to have a fire in here. Oh, I just, I just hey, said, I just said we we're gonna here. have a fire in here. Hey, you settle down there, Mister. You know how to get one of them out, Banjo? Peanut. Not water. Not, not water. Jeez, getting hot, boys. Golden and crispy. All right, we got the bass left, dude. This is the hottest thing I've ever been the around. Crunch is hot. Like my hands are just absolutely on fire. There's got to be like an overload setting. I, which I think we hit this. It's things like fire. this thing's like scary hot. Yeah, I feel like if I have oil on me, I'm gonna catch. All right, so here's the largey. Oh, oh, nope, oh. didn't light. Bummer. All right, well, let's get to tasting. All right, here's the first batch of bluegill. Golden crispy. Get yourself some of it's that. All Banjos yeah, looks real good. I like it should be all bluegill. Mmm. 
Not right. bad for not Crunchy. having an A wash. What do you think about that? Oh, that's fire. Good. Very light. It's almost mm -hmm. like a potato chip. Yeah. Uh, this might be a move. The flavor it. is a little bit lighter than normal. Give it a give you it get a taste of the fish and not just yeah. the batter. Mm -hmm. It's very light. Oh, that's good. It's literally like a potato yeah. chip. I could eat this all day. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's the so good, good stuff right there. You like? You a fan of it? Yeah. Fan of the bluegill? Mm -hmm. No bones. No bones. Boneless. Yeah. Literally, it's a chip. It is nice and crunchy. Mm. Wow. Honestly, the cast iron stove. They're pretty good. We got crappie right here. I think. What do you mm -hmm. got there? Crappie? I have to go for some more. Well, that's hot. I'm not gonna get yeah, it. Yeah, I was gonna say I'd wait on that. Yep. We're gonna wait on the crappie and then finish up the bass. Lucy, you excited, buddy? That's some crispy. crispy. That's that's the good stuff there. Oh yeah, we did we did it right. It just took a while to get hot. All right, take this off before we light this whole thing on fire. Dude, this handle. Don't this try this at home. This handle's getting it right now. All right, we're going in for some crappie here. Mm, that's better. Mm -hmm. mm, more so, taste. Mm -hmm, there's more flavor to that one. Mm -hmm. Crappie's got yeah. better. Or, yeah, crappie's got better taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Give that a dangle. Ooh, that's better. Oh, I better. Better flavor mm -hmm. on that one for sure. Oh, yeah. Closer to walleye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bluegill's not bad. There's just not much there. Yeah. That piece is kind of fishy, a little mushy. Really? Much I like the I thinner piece. I like the thinner pieces. The, crun the thinner, yeah, crunchy the ones are a little bit crunchy. better. I think this bass is gonna go. Probably pretty hot still. It's hot, yeah. Well, we'll let it cool down and we'll see what the bass tastes like. All right, here. You want a Scooby snack? Millie, sit. Look how nice she takes it. Then you want to see this guy? Sit, sit. Ah, oh, canines right through the thumb every time. Every time. All right, get yourself some of that bass. I don't think it's gonna be as good. Hmm. Hmm. I'd say it's in between the bluegill and the crappie. It's a little fishy. Has good texture. A lot more meat to it. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Crappie, your favorite? Crappie, bluegill, and the bass. Bass is the worst for you. I think so. Yeah. Really. I mean. I'm not getting a very fishy taste though. Like which when is you kind first of, like bite into it, it tastes yeah. good, and then, then it kind of gets fishy. It's all right. It's I mean, there's, you're talking about like there's some meat here. Oh though. yeah. The other like I would want a bunch of bluegill and crappie for like an appetizer, but like this would be your meal, meal, you right. know, because it's like it's a big thick piece of meat. Big fan of that. Thick pieces of meat. It's not bad though. No. Not bad though. You like that? <laughs> How about you try this big thick piece of meat? How's that? I think with, with more not batter, bad. it would be better for the thicker pieces. Yeah. I think the thin pieces yeah. do better on their own, but mm -hmm. you got to have that's that not wash. Bad, though. So what, what what best to I'd say least? Second. Crappie, the, then the bass, bass, and the bluegill. I mean, that's yeah. what you say? Are you changing your mind? Are you sticking to bass being last? Bass probably last. Really? Bass is last. Yeah. What are you? I would say, I think if you had egg wash, I think this would be better. I think there's just a lot of meat and not a lot of crispiness to it. Mm. That makes me like the bluegill because it's like a potato chip type yeah. thing. But I was honestly, I'm going to give the bluegill a bass a tie. Really? I'm going to say it's a tie. Yeah. I, Being that guy? I, I, yeah, I'll be that guy. I think the, oh, the really? bass tastes better, but I like the little crispy nuggets yeah, of the bluegill. True. So that's it's true. texture wise, bluegill is better. Flavor wise, I think the bass is better. The crappie gets you a little bit of both. You get a little bit more meat and it's got that crispy factor. So first catch and cook in the cabin. We did start a fire. So check that off the list, but didn't burn it down. So that's good. Good start to you breaking in the cabin. Um, we used the wood burning stove, so we didn't have to actually even turn on the generator. We didn't even have to use the propane. So Lucy, what are you doing there, buddy? Thank it you was know. your first time fishing. Did you have fun ice fishing, buddy? First time ice fishing. You did so good. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Let us know what you think. I think my strategy is going to be catch the bass, like the same size bass that we filleted, catch a bunch of those and bring them down here. I, I can't decide. I don't really want to take a lot, a lot of bluegill out of the top pond, but clearly there are so many um, that I feel like taking taking some, maybe not even eater size, but like those smaller ones that we were releasing, taking some of those and bringing them down here, kind of equal out the ponds a little bit. I think it's really heavy forage base and then really heavy small bass on the top pond. So I think bring some of the small bass down and let the other bass get a little bit bigger and bring some bluegill down so that way the bass down here have something to eat. Um, but we want to start the stocking process now because if we start moving some bass around, getting them fed and fattened up and stuff to where we can start catching them in the spring, I think that'd be best case scenario. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one and peace.